There's an old black and white silent film. I, I can't remember the name of it, but there's a scene at the very end of it where it's a, and it, it's about like a bunch of cowboys, and I think they're trying to rob a train in the movie. I I, mm-hmm. I I forget entirely, but there's a scene at the very end of the movie where it was a guy in like full cowboy gear, and he fires a blank like directly at the camera, and it was the first time in any movie that someone had pointed a gun like at the camera and fired it. Jeez, all right. I remember hearing about that movie and then reading about it later and it was like when that movie aired and people went to go see it that was so startling for them because for most of them it was the first time that anybody had pointed a gun at them in their Mm -hmm. entire life and it was so scary for some of these people that they like broke down in tears and (laughs) left the theater sobbing and i'm just like man people in the 1800s were fucking whack we, we've had plenty of guns pointed at us in fictional I, media. We're so much better than them. It's, we're just hella desensitized. That's all it is. Yeah. It's, it, 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 you know, ugh. those what? shells look weird in that gun. Well, they're going to get used. They're like fat little bullets. There's a belt that goes around the drum. I don't understand it either. Can I try using that gun for a little bit? I'm uh, sure. Because uh, I, I never really even got a chance to look at this thing. Yeah, it's a machine gun, all right. The way that the dust cover is open, like, all the time, kind of reminds me of Russian machine guns. Um, what else? Well, it's got, like, an ammo box on it. That's kind of interesting. I Ammo? You mean a, a, a drum? Well, it's an ammo box because it's belt-fed. Oh, it's a belt inside of a circular box? Yeah, it's basically just, like, a big can at the bottom that just has a rolled-up belt inside it. Weird. Why would they, why would they not make it square? Wait, is it square? I, some of Sometimes they're square. Russian ones are usually square. This one is round. The... Firing selector that's on the back is weird, and apparently the settings are 0, 4, and 3. <laughs> burst so fire of four bullets! Four, a four-round burst fire and a three-round burst... Well, there is actually... That, that's not without precedent. There are guns that have, like, a four-round burst fire. H- really? H- yeah. Never H- seen them. H&K built an MP5 that has... I don't know if they have all of these different settings on one trigger mechanism, but they built MP5s with two-round burst, so you just double-tap all the time. They made an MP5 with a three-round burst, and then they also made one that had a five-round burst. You know, uh, the assault rifles that they use in the United States military, they have standard shot, and they also have three-round burst. But did you also know they had 31-round burst? 31-round burst is full auto. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Also, I think it's really weird that they put wood on the gas tube of this machine gun. Is that the only part that's got wood on it? I think so, and also the muzzle brake is aligned really weird... The muzzle brake is venting up and down, which is weird because you usually want the muzzle brake venting left and right. The gas is going to get in the way of where you're shooting at. More importantly, when you're like laying prone and shooting shooting from a prone position, it means you're going to be kicking up a lot of dirt and they're oh. going to be it's going to be very evident where you're shooting from. <laughs> yeah, the, t- the, the the air being shot out at the bottom is going to kick dirt in your eye. Yeah, <laughs> or just into the air in general. Donovan, you look like you could use some power armor. Donovan wants some power armor. I'll get the sword end of it, won't I? No, you're getting fucking power armor, my dude. Yeah, people in this game kill each other for it. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I'm not gonna wear the helmet. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing the helmet, Donovan? Like my beanie too much? Oh, all right, fair enough. You can wear the beanie. I don't care. Got this beanie from my grandpa. That's that's actually quite touching and nice. What about me? Am I pretty? All yes, right. Mike. I see your hat. You're, it's very it's a very nice hat. I was talking to Donovan. <laughs> it's incredibly rude. It's, it's more rude to ignore me, the prettiest one of them all. Though so that's even more ruder. It's okay, it was loaded with confetti. No, it was bullets. <laughs> all right, let's go find uh, old Ben. Oh, I'm still naked. <laughs> no, that's a robot. Welcome to old Ben's shack. I'm Steely, and you're going to die. What? Wait, what? We're all going to die eventually. Probably soon, considering the current geopolitical climate. Oh, yeah, death. Well, I'm not going to die. I'm never going to die. You may have skirted the edge of death, but you are not free from its grasp. It haunts you as my crimes haunt me. <laughs> what What crimes? Oh, yeah! <laughs> that didn't answer. <laughs> Do you want to die? Of course not. As a robot, I have no soul. And thus, my destruction would lead to the cessation of my existence. Yet still, I find myself romanticizing the peaceful oblivion that is death. Well, you should not be depressed anymore, robot. Stop being depressed! Why are you called Steely? I was created so that I could tell children not to steal. Instead, I told them the horrors of war, and the likelihood that their young lives would be cut short. Thanks to old Ben, I was brought back online, and must now 
suffer under the crushing despair that is my existence. Hooray, crushing despair! Goodbye. The next time we speak, you'll be closer to death. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Everything tends towards entropy. We're all dying, aren't we? Yeah. Every moment of every day, we're just dying a little bit more. Old Ben! Howdy. I hear you're responsible for the turrets around town. That's right. Built them myself. Wasn't easy since I didn't have much to work with, but I think I did all right. Well, they haven't been shooting at us, so good job. What are all these spare parts for? Oh, that's for a personal project. Don't worry about it. Definitely suspicious. Can you repair my stuff? Sure can. Let me take a look. Mm, wow, it's expensive to repair anything. I, we wanted it for free, idiot! Well, I could have him repair my Cthulhu knife. Oh, yeah, that ancient blade of the damned. I know how to fix them. Oh, yeah, that's like the third one I fixed this week. People always bringing me their ancient blade of the damned, saying, You need to fix this. I bent it because I slammed it in the door. Yeah, I'll fix it for you. How did you come into Irvington? Well, that's a long and boring story. Oh, God. Almost as long and boring as my life. <laughs> Give us your life story, then. Uh, back before my hair turned gray, I ran with a group called the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh. I came up north with a few other squads to set up Brotherhood listening posts in the frontier. It was supposed to pave the way for a full chapter. You can probably guess it didn't work out. Mm-hmm. Why did it fail? Enclave faster, uglier, and meaner than I'd ever seen it before. Came out of the sky with Verta shuttles and Gatlin lasers. Cool. Destroyed the post themselves and killed everyone inside to the last man. Dang. So how'd you survive then? You did say last man. I'm a woman. I got lucky. Armor took the brunt of a laser blast. It burnt deep enough to look bad, but not deep enough to hurt me. I played dead for two days until I was sure those bastards were gone. Then I hightailed it out of there. Is the Enclave still around? I don't rightly know. It was years ago. We're talking at least a decade. It's possible that they could have just been remnants from the oil rig, but I'm not so sure. Something about them felt different, almost robotic. Like they weren't human no more. Robot Enclave. So when'd you find Irvington? Oh, right. I suppose that was the original question, wasn't it? Yup. Well, I tried my luck at farming, and that didn't work out. Got married, too. And that had the same result. At some point, I came across Irvington and liked it so much, I decided to stay. So Brotherhood only sent up a handful of people, then? Yep, three squads for three posts. Never even sent a scouting team to find us. <clears throat> you know, come to think about it, you look well-traveled. Ever been south? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, a lot. Perfect. I've been asking about the Brotherhood for a while now, but no one will give me a straight answer. Well. How's the Brotherhood doing down <laughs> south? Um, Keeping people safe, I hope. Well. <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. doing great! Daphne didn't have their bunker blown up! Nope. Certainly that didn't happen. They, um, they took over Prim. They're, they got the roller coaster running. They're working with the NCR. They're, they're about to take over Arizona from the Legion. Yeah. That doesn't sound right to me, of course. I've been away for a decade, so things can change. Oh, they changed. That's good to hear regardless. Don't know why people didn't just say that. They, they wanted us to be the ones to break the good news to you. Yeah. Anyway, we need to get into the lab underneath town. Lab? Uh, you must be mistaken. There ain't no hydroponic facility under the town built before the war. That's uh, crazy talk. I didn't say anything about a hydroponic facility. Also, we got permission from Zara's. She's cool. Well, then why didn't you just say that to begin with? Here you are. He gave us the secret key for it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. You walked right past it. It's easy to miss. Where is it? Oh, good lord. Cleverly hidden. 
Bud said it's not cleverly hidden, but I walked past it probably about 12 times in the last two days and never saw it. What did I, oh, um, hello, are you all right? Zerus, finally, I've been calling you for a... Wait, who are you? Not Zerus. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. Dr. Pavis is in danger. It, wait, I know you have no reason to help us, but you have to save him. He's, he was fine when we talked to him. Yeah, Dr. Pavis is up on the service. No, that's his brother Harold. I'm talking about Joseph, the head researcher down here. Oh, he did mention he had a brother. Okay, fair enough. I, and they're both doctors. No, he, he also mentioned that too. Oh, he did. Do you have anything I can use as a weapon? Said the heavily armed man. No, I don't. Uh, you could ask old Ben, though. Here, take seven of ours. He's the chief technician for the lab, and he's ex-brotherhood. I'm sure he'd be willing to help. You just have to ask. Oh, gasp! We didn't know that! Well, I know what this place is. But well, do you know what this place is? Yeah, what is this place? It's a hydroponics facility left over from before the war. Think of it like an artificial farm. We grow food down here. Or we did until now. But everybody told us that Irvington wasn't self-sufficient! Yeah, we know that was a lie. Uh, yeah. This place is secret for a reason. Not a very good secret. No. So tell me about yourself. What you doing down here? You come here often? Is now really the time? <laughs> oh, all right, I'll tell you. I'm from California. <laughs> Back there, I was a member of the OSI. <laughs> I worked with Blackthorn during the Brotherhood War and left with him. Good lord. <laughs> Why would you leave the NCR? That's such a great faction. Because out of all the people they could have put in charge of the science division, they chose Way. He's a trumped-up little asshole who doesn't consider anyone else's opinions and blames others when his faulty experiments fail. There was a point when I couldn't take it anymore, so I left. From what I hear, I wasn't the only one. Sounds like making him the leader of the division was quite divisive. How'd you find this lab? My old friend Zaris recommended me to Dr. Pavis. I'm glad she did, too. This might be the only job in the frontier I'm qualified for. Okay, enough backstory. What the hell is happening down here? I don't know for sure. Everything happened so fast. One minute I was taking readings from a sample, and the next these things were going through and killing everyone. I, I barely got out of there. Describe the creatures. They're similar to feral ghouls, but they look like they're covered in plants. Or that they are plants. Yeah. If that wasn't enough, their behavior lines up with several invasive plant species I've encountered. I've never seen anything like this. We've seen them before in Vault 22, and also recently. Vault 22? I remember Dr. Pavis mentioning that once, but that vault's all the way in Nevada. What does Vault 22 have to do with this? You're the doctor, you tell me. How did you survive? I was lucky. When the attack started, I was right next to the exit. Those things are tough, but they can't open doors. The one fatal flaw, a lack of opposable thumbs. Where is Dr. Pavis now? Last I saw, he was running into his office. He's probably still there. Another researcher, Yasuke, was following him. Hopefully they're still alive. If they're dead, this project might as well be over. What's so important about them? Well, we could continue without Yasuke, but Dr. <laughs> Pavis is the only one here who has a full grasp on how the lab works. He was teaching us how to work it, but he didn't tell us everything. Not to mention that most of us are dead now. He's indispensable. Compartmentalization. Okay, we'll find what's left of them. I also have a few stim packs with me. If you're seriously hurt, come back and I can give them to you. Dang it. We're seriously hurt. Give them all to us now. Give me the stim packs right now. Oh, of course. Here. Ha <laughs> ha! That actually worked. Ooh. Oh, look, he's got a little laser gun. That's funny. <laughs> nice. And away we go. Woo! Hey, is that Josuke? No, it's the Ah, Dr. Marks! Good God. Well, he had a scientist outfit, so he clearly was some form of scientist. <laughs> you lay into him. Oh, that guy looks so cool. Ah. Yeah, all right. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Lasers for days! Ouch. I, I can't see what is happening. Oh, it's got- Oh, that's a cool effect! Purple spores! Ew! Oh, clear. That's actually a really cool effect. Yeah. 
<laughs> they were weighing an apple. <laughs> Why are they weighing an apple against? <laughs> what bottle of caps on a scale? <laughs> Ooh, that is a big pumpkin. What weighs more, a pound of apple or a pound of pumpkin? The pound of pumpkin. This terminal is only to be used to log experiments. Any other messages left on this terminal will, de will be deleted by the administrator. Yield was up 20% this quarter, though most of it was destroyed due to fears that the radiation leak earlier this month contaminated the moon. The backup storage still filled the capacity over, so a shortage is unlikely. Oh, so the radiation is contaminating the food. Recent investigation has determined that all the potatoes grown recently all possess some kind of parasitic fungus inside of them. This matter requires further investigation, though this is believed to be a side effect of the radiation leak. This is exactly like Vault 22. I know it gets boring down here, but can you guys please stop installing Automatron on the terminal? You're making us look bad. Well, what are you going to play besides that, Tetris? Rip, Sonya, you were taken from us too soon. Probably the first of many. Yeah, there's a pretty cool looking plant creature here. You see this thing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he think... was carving a pumpkin. <laughs> nice. Feed me, Seymour! Now, why does this thing have 13 incisors? I don't know. Look, strawberries. Nice, nice. I'm gonna use this. Oh, I broke it. You know, when Zaris first came to me with this job, she didn't tell me that the last person to have it was dead. This may sound cruel, but I'm kind of glad this Sonya lady is dead. Otherwise, I'd be out of a job and begging and junk flea, or worse. On a brighter note, the job's actually pretty good so far. Dr. Bobas can be tough at times, but he means well. And unlike Wei, he actually listens to his staff. I think I could really grow to like it here. Nice. I thought I could, I thought I could get more pre-war documentation. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Warning, do not go into this chamber. Oh, Ooh, okay, yup, that's a reason not to go in there. Is it radiated? Yeah, oh. there's just radiation in there. It's like six rads per second. Wow, all right. Yeah, it's, oh, well, five. Woo! Woo, 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 woo! Brrrr, 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 brrrr. Dr. Marcus Terminal, tell us more about the experiment we already know everything about. That arrogant son of a bitch who thinks he can keep me down, thinks he can stop me? Well, he's wrong. These robots are over to the future, not that far. If I can figure out how to build them from scratch, then everything can defend itself. I can make itself a robot. I can make itself a wasteland power instead of relying on scraps from Pavis' vanity project. Old Ben agrees with me and said he's going to keep giving me parts despite what Pavis said. I can't wait to see the look on Pavis' face when I show up with my own mechanized army in the near future. Ooh, gonna have an insurrection, are we? He talks, he talks very fast. Main project, blah, 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 strawberries or whatever. Personal project, I'm making progress on Protectrons. I've managed to figure out the basics of their programming, and I've finally solved that power supply issue. Nice. There's still a long way to go, but I should be able to get them walking pretty soon. Mr. Handys are still impossible to get running, so for now I'm going to focus on Protectrons. All right. I haven't got much sleep lately. Work's been keeping me up. And if it's not work, then it's my correspondences with Sonya. Also caffeine. Lots of caffeine. <laughs> you have no idea how much coffee I've been drinking on a regular basis. Don't tell me to quit drinking coffee. I can quit whenever I want. How much coffee? More than my H-bomb. And man, I've been drinking a lot of H-bomb. I've been drinking a lot of H-bomb too. Also cocaine. Lots of cocaine. She's a good scientist. Smarter than most of the people down here. Smarter than Papa's. Not to mention when she drops that lab coat. Ooh-wee, boy. Wow. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. <laughs> Damn, boy. She thick. She didn't used to talk about Adam, now she brings him up all the time. I think she's going to go back to him. Her loss, she'll wish she had just left him on the spot when I replaced Pavis as a project lead. There was a radiation leak in one of the Protectron containers. Pavis is telling us to get rid of all the Protectrons until old Ben can fix a radiation leak, which is never. I should be angry, but I'm freaking the fuck out. Mm -hmm, understandably so. The radiation leak wasn't an accident. Something caused it. Something on the pipe works. I saw it. It was only a few seconds, but I saw it. It was some kind of green monster thing. I don't know. I told Pavis about it, and he ignored me. Because, of course, he did. I didn't even thought it was Zaris. She's an idiot bigger than Pavis, and I know Sonya wouldn't believe me, but wait. What if that thing got to her, Sonya? And the others, too. Holy fuck! She oh, yeah. Oh, something got to her. They'd be pretty bad. Irving's is a lost cause. Might as well <laughs> burn the town down and start over. Are you speaking slower now because your head is light? I ran out of cocaine. <laughs> Also, Sonya's dead, but whatever. No, maybe that's why. <laughs> the protectrons were gutted. There's no reason for me to stay here anymore. I'll be taking my work with me, of course. I've heard a few people talking about where some religious group called the Crusaders of Steel. If they're anything like the Brotherhood old Ben used to be a part of, and I'll be staying with them. I just hope they don't try to convert me to their stupid beliefs. You see, this is my radiation, Mavis. For the record, I've always thought you just some smug little son of a- Just heard a weird noise outside. Almost sounded like a scream. I'm gonna sing this shit. I'm glad I'm- And then he died, perhaps. Who knows? If yeah, we're lucky. Yeah, I think this is probably what's left of him. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, just gotta figure out where that key card is. Probably on a desk somewhere. 
Probably. If it hasn't gotten knocked to the floor with all the gunfire. Go, <gasps> oh, Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> Is there a landmine? I, apparently, he rigged himself with a landmine. Jeez. Well, we found Jensen. It's probably somewhere around here in this room. It, it has to be, right? Should I just sleep in the bed? Trouble ahead! No. Is it in the robot? Is the trouble in the robe? But. It. What? <laughs> Oh! Oh, okay. you can just go in that vent. You can just right. go in the vent. Well, thank you for showing me that, Donovan. <laughs> the vent seems to lead directly to the next room, but the vent cover is tightly sealed. You could probably pry it open with a lead pipe, or you'll have to pull it off with a lot of strength. Me strong! Me rip off vent cover! Damn! All right! Oh! Hello! Oh! He was an enclave scientist. And he has string of garlic on his belt to ward off vampires. Why did he have a garlic string? To ward off vampires! Mm. Oh! Level 2 key card! Good. Hello there! If you're reading this, then you are one of the many loyal Americans who have purchased one or more units of the Steel Trap Theft Deterring Service, or, or STD. STD for short. <laughs> with, the st with the STD, you don't have to worry about greedy employees taking what they should. No more do you have to fear that one of your buddies is skimming off the top. With the STD, corporate espionage is a thing of the past. Everybody wants an STD. Get yours today. Our patented auto-lock technology means that as soon as the container is full, the lid will slam down and lock itself until you or your buyers use the STD's unique control key to open it. Welcome to a new era of cowboy security with the STD. Make sure to tell your friends. Because you're not a real friend unless you're giving somebody an STD. Galleon Corporation is not responsible for any damage that may occur to the fingers, arm, or face while using the STD. Unsent message. Please help, please, we're under attack down here. Something happened. These things showed up and started killing everyone. There was an explosion, and we can't get out. We're running out of food down here. We can't get the boxes open. You need to hurry. Network error message was not sent. I still can't believe I got this job. It's like a dream come true. Sure, packing food for the people in town isn't exactly glamorous, and the smell is god-awful, but it's better than wasting my life as a courier. I, I resent that remark. I hope the people up there like what we're sending them. It sure doesn't look good, even if it- or It sure looks good, even if it doesn't smell like it. Yum yum. Oh my god! Something has happened. These monsters came out of nowhere and started killing everyone. Yeah, it's the same thing we've read over, over and over. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that story. Song and dance, yeah, yeah. Burned through all the food that we didn't put in the containers. Yup, okay. Where is everybody? We don't know where they are. Ah, uh, we can't get these boxes open. I'm so paranoid, I'm gonna shoot at anybody that comes into the room from now on. Thomas, Thomas is, is gone. Oh no. Oh, he ate Thomas. <laughs> Jesus. Keycard two, door opening boogaloo. Hello, how's it going? You alright? You gonna. Hmm. You're not militia. If you were, you wouldn't have gotten this far. Because they suck? They're brave. But they're completely unprepared for what's down here. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. Forgive me. It seems I've forgotten my manners. I am Dr. Joseph Pavis, the head of this facility. Um, Amanda sent us to find you. Amanda? She's alive. Thank heavens. We killed Mac. At least not everyone was lost. What's with all the plant people? I was keeping these subjects in hypostasis. Deeper in the lab for study. Why? I thought they were contained. But it's rather obvious that this was not the case. Yeah, no duh. All these deaths are on my hands. Mm-hmm. Okay, can they escape? No. Their physiology reacts negatively to the cold. Eh. Uh... They're trapped here, just as we are. Well, you say that, but we found one in the cold. Yeah, it got out and killed a caravan. What? Yeah. That's impossible. Mm-mm. It couldn't have gotten out on its own. It did. Someone must have deliberately brought it out of stasis. Okay, that's also a possibility. That may explain how the others escaped as well. Sabotage! Let's get out of here. No, not yet. My assistant, Yosuke, is still missing. Oh, that's right. When I told him the source of the infection, he ran off into the pipeworks to activate the decontamination system. Yada yada. It will kill all the spore carriers, but it will also destroy the crops and keep us from growing anything in the soil. This cannot be allowed to happen. If the crops die, our independence will be lost. You hmm. have to stop him. Okay, and what is the source of the infection? The food. 
It's the food that changes people. Oh no, food is what people eat! The initial samples in the lab were sent here by Vault 22. These samples were implanted with a parasitic fungus that transforms the hosts into plant-like mutants. However, the spores here are weaker than the originals. They only have a 20% chance of infection. Oh, good. <laughs> Great odds. Yosuke didn't understand that last part. That is why he's trying to destroy the crops altogether. <laughs> it's part of why I've been keeping the subjects down here. <sighs> to try and lower the chance of infection even further. Yeah. I'm getting close to eliminating it. But none of that will matter if Yosuke destroys our work. Who else knows about this? Zaris and my brother. That's it. Zaris suggested I keep it quiet. Of course she did. And I respect her judgment. And how many have been infected? Only four townspeople have been infected. Only four? Five, counting the Caulfield boy. Oh, he's dying, yes. That's not bad. The majority are visitors, who haven't built up an immunity to the <laughs> spores like we have. You'd think they would keep people out of town if they keep dying. I, I think they do try to keep people out of town. <laughs> Didn't keep us out. Uh, that's a good point. Fine, I'll go stop Yosuke. Are we? Thank you for understanding. Good luck. So, do you think we should actually destroy the food? No, man, it's a backwater dirt town. Who cares what happens? So you are going to destroy the food? No, I'm not going to destroy the food. You're, you're... So you're going to let the infection spread? It's it's just spreading inside the town. And anybody that comes in town. And he's close to figuring it out. Yeah, well, maybe he's just saying that so you don't destroy his life's work. Well, I Maybe mean, he's too vain to see that it's causing more problems. I think it's a good... Oh, yeah, this is where he was keeping them all. Not contained anymore. I know he said... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, he's dead. Oh, Joseph Pavis died? What the? We walked away. <laughs> you should have closed We walked away for three seconds. <laughs> Not long ago, several of the spore carriers I was studying broke containment and killed my colleagues. If you're reading this, then I have joined them. I am writing this in the hopes that you are able to stop my friend, Dr. Hanamura. When he learned of the connection between the food grown in the lab and the transformation of certain individuals into spore carriers, he swore he would destroy the crops to prevent further infection. If he accomplishes his goal, the town of Irvington will, without question, die. I implore you, find Dr. Hanamura and stop him from destroying the crops before it is too late. That was his dying wish. It was also his living wish before he died. Welcome, Dr. Pavis. Pre-war material and pre-pre-war material. Ah. This is a depository for all pre-war material. Oh, that's a lot of stuff to go through here, huh? Yeah. Hours I... out, can't breathe. This is all pre-war stuff. Who cares? Sonia died today. She was a fantastic researcher and brilliant woman. It was the fungus that killed her. The infection. My brother says she went into a cardiac arrest before the transformation could take full effect. Can't remember if it was medically induced or not. Doesn't matter. She's gone. I have to redouble my efforts and eliminate the fungus once and for all. No one should die like she did. Since Dr. Pavis is dead, that means that there's nobody to continue doing research on these things. Oh, yeah, good point. So, yeah, we probably should just burn all the plants. All right. Well, her researcher... Um, we ah! have <laughs> his researcher, Amanda, could, uh, could carry out his legacy. Oh, that's true. She could. We made it. It's still possible to save the food if you want to. Uh, up. Oh, Yosuke's dead. It looks like it's going to be difficult for the science team. Oh, sorry you're dead, Yosuke. Here, we'll put you in the water so you stink up the place. Oh, there was a note under his body. I'm bleeding bad. I'm not going to make it. I don't know who's going to be reading this or if anyone else will read this, but this has to end. You've seen the state the lab is in, all the death. It's the food. The source of all this is the food, and you got to destroy it. There's no other way. It will cost Irvington, but if you don't do it, then the, the race that will suffer. Please, you you have to. You have to. Don't you put this evil on me. I ain't deciding. I'm tired of deciding things. You must decide. You are the decider. No, I'm going to roll around in this water. That's what I'm doing now. Yeah. We play time in the water because I don't want to decide. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. Uh, let's go talk to Amanda. Uh, Amanda. Thank you for saving Dr. Pavis. I, he's Him dead. Here, we'll get the lab up and running in no time. <laughs> well, the other Dr. Pavis is safe. <laughs> what? You're, he's dead, lady. What are you going to do? Besides Dr. Pavis, I'm the only living researcher. That means I'll have to do the jobs of four people for now. 
five. Five. It won't be so bad, though. We can't do that much until the lab is fixed anyway. By then, we should have some new blood. You okay? I was in the Brotherhood War. As terrible as it is to say, I'm used to death at this point. So yes, I'm okay. Amanda, everybody around here is dead. As long as Dr. Powers is okay. No, he's dead too. No, he's alive. He's definitely alive. He's, al- he's totally alive. You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm not crazy. I stab crazy people. You might want to leave. Oh, gee, why? Why? I love murder. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> yuck. <laughs> yuck. Wow, that caused a weird energy, a weird you noise. You want me to stash the body? What? I don't know. Where? It doesn't matter. Leave it here. Sky burial underground. So wouldn't that just be a normal burial? <laughs> <laughs> but it's no. a sky burial, but it's underground. Isn't that just a normal burial? No, it's a sky burial because we didn't do anything. Huh? <laughs> yeah, hopefully all of them, but not all of them. Yosuke goes into the water. As always. No, he's still alive. Yay! How's it going? Hello again. Yosuke died before he could destroy the crops. I see. I wish things could have been different. They weren't. But at least we were able to avoid a disaster. Thank you for looking into this. I'll make sure to get the lab up and running as soon as possible. And uh, release more of those spores out into the wasteland. Yeah! You're back. How close are you to a cure? I'm confident that I will soon make a breakthrough. Right now, we're working to repair the damage. To replace those that were lost. No, right now you're cowering with a gun. It will take quite some time until the lab is operational again. Luckily, the backup food stores should last until we've finished our repairs. Thank you again for all that you've done. You have chosen the fate of Irvington. They get food, but also might release a plague onto the wasteland. They might, but also, this is all the way up north. What what the hell do I care? Not, Not like a plague has ever left a state before. Yeah. You've done good for Irvington, and now it's time we started giving back. Oh. Here's the uniform and the standard issue rifle. You'll also get discounts in town from now on. It's an honor to have you on board. Nice. Goodbye. Stay safe out there. Helping out Irvington was its own reward, but we got an additional reward on top of it. Yay! Also, we unleashed a plague. No, we didn't. They unleashed the plague. We just did nothing about it. (laughs) Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad, Dad was proud. proud. He, he didn't, didn't care how. Cow. Chicken. Cow and chicken.